Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. Uh, this is for Venus in Scorpio. So if in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Scorpio, these message are, messages are for you. Um, and it can also apply if you have Scorpio as your eighth house. And again, this is for birth chart, what's in your natal chart. I'm not talking about the um, transit, uh, transiting Venus. So I wanna thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Um, I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Um, this is for January 2020. So let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have the Magician. We have the Ace of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so central issue. Oh, and also if you guys wanted to book your personal or private reading, um, payments are collected on Fridays. So make sure that uh, you have the price list. You can email me if you don't have it. It has changed since January. Um, and then if you want to um, call me by phone, make sure you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm currently taking live calls. And if you want to support my Patreon, that information is also in the description box below. So um, five of Pinnacles looks as if maybe someone was rejected, turned away. Um, someone's offer maybe went ignored unnoticed um, someone also may be suffering in silence so someone may be hurt or in need of something but they have not said anything so it looks like maybe someone is also covering up their feelings someone is wearing a mask um, and someone does not want to be read someone does not want to know that they um, have some sort of feelings or emotions for the other person. Now, I also get the energy of someone who may be coming out of a breakup, but they may be pretending like they are okay. Oh my God. Yeah, so, um, yeah, someone may be pretending like they're okay when on the inside they're really in need or feeling empty and I feel like you also may have like your faith could have been tested um, or you had lost faith in love or maybe you just lost faith in general so I feel like that may come to an end I feel like something's gonna change where you're gonna feel inspired uh, there is a better opportunity for you. Maybe you feel like maybe you missed out. You were wondering, did you make make a mistake? But I feel that no, because there is a new opportunity for you. And I feel like you're going to be excited. Um, there is someone, too, that you may end up having some sort of... Um, well, it's gonna, I feel like there's going to be a, a strong attraction. I almost get a situation where something comes off as a one night stand. I know I'm not saying that that's what you're looking for or that's what you want, but something may start off like that. Um, <clears throat> this also could be a situation where there's a new relationship developing. So if you've already been interacting with someone uh, I feel that things will move to the next level. Something's going on where at first, I don't know, if you weren't attracted to someone at first and then you changed your mind um, or if you guys just weren't on the same page when it came to what you were attracted to, I feel like someone gets something right. Um, yeah, I feel like something someone gets something right. Now, also get a situation of an invitation. So if you are looking to meet love, maybe you've been searching, you feel like I've been looking everywhere, I can't find love anywhere. Um, 
you may meet someone at an event, at a party, at a gathering. So, you know, is if that opportunity presents itself, you know, it's up to you, but it looks like you would take it. Um, I also feel that if you were having a hard time letting go or moving on from someone, you finally meet someone who catches your interest. I feel like you finally feel inspired uh, or optimistic. Someone just kind of catches your attention. You're like, oh, okay, I like this one. So <clears throat> definitely some sort of strong attraction going on. There's also the possibility that there's two contenders, two people to, to choose from. Um, maybe one person moves really fast or they're really flirty and the other person is more subtle or mo in their approach, um, more practical in sense. So I feel like either way there is, there's this fresh start and I feel like something will be confirmed or something will be established. Someone may be getting ready to ask you out on a date. Um, there also could be some sort of changes coming to your home. It just looks like you are having, um, like your faith is restored. Something is brand new. It's like you're excited. Something seems like a new shiny toy. <laughs> Hope it's not a boy toy. But yeah, something does seem new and shiny and it could be a fire sign, could be any sign, but I do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and maybe water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be that you turned down a water sign and started moving forward with a fire sign. There is still some sort of confusion about your situation though. You may find yourself falling kind of fast for somebody and I think you're going to try and reel it in and pull yourself back and say whoa 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 okay let me relax you know this per I don't want to get lost up in the illusion so I feel like because of someone's appearance or just the energy in general you may end up falling kind of fast and hard for somebody so at that point you do need to just kind of gain perspective and at least admit to yourself that you are kind of feeling the illusion that they're giving off or this fantasy that they're presenting or offering to you. So someone may be making some sort of promises to you, like they're saying things, they're saying that they will do all these things and it seems perfect, something seems solid like it's a solid offer. They might be um, saying all the things that you want to hear in uh, from a partner. Um, if you're a guy, you know, whatever the case is, there may be someone that you have your eye on and you're telling them all these things. Now, you might be selling yourself to them or saying anything that you can to keep their attention. Um, something seems like checkmate, like I, I feel like checkmate. So I'm just getting like alarms going off, like ding, 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 like, yes, yes. So whatever it is, bingo, whatever that is, I just kind of feel like something is a yes. Um, now, also, this guy is coming off as being very seductive and he comes off like the emperor because he looks like he likes to observe Someone is also temptation for whatever reason. I don't know what it is about this connection, but it's, it's something tabooish or like temptation. Tem I want to make up words, temptation-y. But um, it is kind of alluring. Something is very alluring. Someone is making some sort of offer and it's like, ooh, that sounds so tempting. Oh my gosh, should I do it? So, yeah, I feel like you're going to have to kind of pull back and see if this is what you want. Now, someone's fighting for you. I feel like someone is t trying to stop you from leaving uh, or someone is speaking your love language. Someone becomes very assertive and aggressive like you like them. I, I feel like that's what you want. 
you want someone to you you don't want to have to guess and i think this person is taking out that guessing game and they're just being very direct they're like look this is what I want. You are who I want. I don't want you going anywhere. I'm going to stop you right there. Like they are doing everything that they can because they feel that they have found their match or they found the one. Someone feels like they found the one. Um, and again, like I said, it could be any sign. I do have earth energy coming out. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I also feel that you may be setting some sort of standards or coming off guarded in regards to what you want. And it's like, if someone can't deliver what you want, then you would push them away or you don't have, you might be prepared. Like, even though you're getting wrapped up in to this love offer, uh, you're still kind of like, okay, but if you if you dare do this or that, like I will shut you out, I will push you away and I have no problem doing it. So someone does want you to take them serious. And I feel like someone also may have either a black car or a truck. Um, I almost feel like someone is pulling out the big guns, especially if someone's flirtation has gone unnoticed i feel like someone says okay it is time to get serious now um okay that's funny i just noticed that this was flipped over the other way is <laughs> instead of you know this way but the the wheel is showing so maybe that's like an additional message that something is going to happen um, near the end of the month or near the end of, uh, well, it has something to do with like a lot of uh, planetary transits. And I know we have three different transits on a horizon. So that also may be the, when this opportunity presents itself to you. So that may affect you somehow. So we have um, Venus getting ready to move into Pisces. We have uh, Mercury getting ready to move into Aquarius. And we have something else. Oh, and the sun is getting ready to move into Aquarius. So maybe for some of you, depending on what your rising sign is, you can be definitely be affected by some of these changes. Because remember, I talked about um, marriage transits. And it takes marriage transits to or meeting transits to finally have someone enter into your life. So a lot of times when you're meeting someone where there's an interest, a spark of interest, you may be having a marriage or meeting transit that day. Now, if it's short lived, it's usually because it wasn't strong enough. Um, it's like three different things have to be happening. And I also notice that things need to be playing out. There, there needs to be one of those transits both in your birth chart and in your moon chart and then when you're older it's even more difficult because there's something called an abomsha chart which is similar to uh, a progressed chart so it's um, it's like it has to be happening in all three of those charts some sort of meeting transit so i feel like that's what's happening now i get a situation where there is fear Someone may be afraid to become vulnerable or someone may have be, have a fear of falling in love in general or being just being exposed. So usually when I see this, it, it indicates that maybe someone wants to run away or push someone away when these feelings come up because someone may be, be too fixated on what could go wrong as opposed to what could go right. So it's like a, it can, it can become a negative emotion. It can be paranoia and just being afraid of the worst. Now, also what this is saying to me is that the person coming towards you is here to help you understand that you have to work on your past traumas. So they will trigger abandonment and trust issues within you and and you are going to do the same thing to them to them it's a reflection uh something about your energies may be very polar opposite of each other yet very similar on the inside like you're 
your love is the same or you, your love language is the same. Uh, somebody is always kind of crazy too because I'm hearing like somebody howling at the moon. So <laughs> I don't mean to call you crazy, but somebody is just very intense or very emotional. Um, now also you may have been having some sort of unusual dreams or very vivid or lucid dreams. For some of you, someone wants to work things out. So not for everyone, but it will it, it will be someone from the past because it, they feel like there's unfinished business. Um, I also get the potential that something starts off as a business transaction or business partnership uh, or at the place of work. This person may belong to the same type of group organization or bank as you like you guys have some sort of common ground that has the potential to build into something solid there is a need to pay very close attention a uh, uh, very close attention to the details in a relationship like you guys i feel like there's going to be a lot of teamwork needed like I see people having conversations and making uh, arrangements and making plans together, but these are like serious plans. So this, this may be the type of relationship that takes time to build or grow. Now, if you're already in a relationship and there's been some sort of miscommunication or misunderstandings with you and your loved one, I feel like you guys are going to um, find a solution you guys are going to start communicating more properly, getting things off of your chest, expressing yourselves, um, and making solid plans for the future. Now, also, someone has some sort of fetish or fantasy, but there is a need to understand that there is a trust or... It's like in order to live out these fantasies with this person, there needs to be a sense of trust. It's like I can't do that with you uh, with you unless I have your absolute trust. So someone sets out to prove themselves worthy to you. Um, I mean, I feel like it's a mutual effort, but I definitely feel that someone's being pursued. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so that card was supposed to come out. It's just funny that it was um, already flipped right side up. So I already talked about it, about how some sort of changes um, are coming in near the end of the month. Now, something may come off as either betrayal with some sort of, with that taboo situation I was talking about. So... I don't know if someone swoops in trying to take you away from whoever you're with or you are doing that, but it does look like someone tries to come in between two people. Now, this also might be a situation where there is a temporary separation due to someone's career. Um, so it's like, even if you guys have just moved in together and you've just set things up. It's like the the next minute this person has to go because they maybe travel for a living um, or because they have to go on some sort of business trip. So the, I feel like there could like right after your relationship is established, there's going to be a separation. Um, <clears throat> now. For some of you, like I mentioned earlier, there is the possibility of an ex returning. Like someone is going to be talking about that they have changed. Someone's going to tell you that they changed. You could be dealing with someone that's very compulsive, obsessive. Uh, or they have some sort of codependency. The only other thing is that 
uh, well, that this could if it's not a love a love triangle where someone's cheating or it's a third party situation. It's more so that there is still some sort of attachment from the past. There's still some sort of baggage. Now, with the devil showing up, also indicates that this may be the type of relationship that is um, is heavy. It comes. It, it's not easy. Um, it is. It comes with a heavy karma, or like you may be indebted to this person, or they are indebted to you. Whatever the case, I feel like there is a, a heavy karma uh, that needs to be balanced out. Um, I'm seeing again something in regards to depression. Someone may be intensely sensitive. Um, and I also feel like something is meant to be though. Like someone is just, this is just about playing the role that you came to play or playing out your destiny. <clears throat> Um, I also feel that there is a need to be protective of your children or who you bring around your children. And I'm also getting something is either inherited or something runs in the family. Um, like it may be meant for you to run the family business or it's meant for you to, um, carry out some sort of legacy in the family you know I got a weird situation where someone has the same last name it may not necessarily mean that your family but I, I feel like maybe someone has the same last name um, it could be a, a distant relative that's why I'm also getting like some taboo energy here something that is like a secret I also feel like someone is going to finally reveal their feelings for the other person if they've been um, hiding their feelings. Like I do feel like they're going to reveal them. And I also feel like the relationship itself may be secretive for whatever reason. Mm. And like I said, I see a soul contract, but it, it just looks like it is going to be heavy. It's, it's not, it's something that's going to take time. Um, I'm not really getting that n much negative energy from the devil in this reading, only because of the surrounding cards. Although I still always say, you know, keep your head up. You, everyone's situation is going to be different, of course. So, you know, if you if you're going to be dealing with someone um, manipulative or narcissistic, you know your limits. So, and this is you knowing your limits and setting some sort of boundaries. So I feel like if anyone, as long as you have some sort of boundaries, whoever you get involved with, that that is your protection. Your boundaries are your protection. You can't, you know, I feel like you have to say, hey, there has to be a limit somewhere. So make sure you have that set into place. Um, and I also get temptation, like something is definitely temptation here um, and some sort of seduction. And I also see that by the end of the month, it looks like you are going to have a sense of uh, stability or something that gives you a sense of security. So whatever it is that gives you security, I feel like you're going to have that. And it does look like a solid foundation is being built. Um, and then also this is the potential of business partnership. That's also something that just keeps coming out. Like I feel like there's a romantic relationship and it, there's definitely a physical attraction, but it also looks like um, it's establishing some sort of partnership. Yeah. So those are the messages. I hope they resonate for you. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.